Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'd. All thanks and praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may his peace and blessings be upon his last and final messenger, his family, his companions, and those who follow them until the end of times. Welcome to lesson number 208 of Tafsirul Jalalain. Alhamdulillah, in the last lesson, we were able to complete verses 88 to 159 of Surah Al-Shu'ara. So inshallah today, we'll pick up right where we left off with verse number 160. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Kathabat qawm lutin al-mursaleen إذ قال لهم أخوهم لوط ألا تتقون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله وأطيعون وما أسألكم عليه من أجر إن أجري إلا على رب العالمين أتأتون الذكران من العالمين وتذرون ما خلق لكم ربكم من أزواجكم بل أنتم قوم عادون قالوا لئن لم تنتهي يا لوط لتكونن من المخرجين قال إني لعملكم من القالين رب نجني وأهلي مما يعملون فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَأَهْلَهُ أَجْمَعِينَ إِلَّا عَجُوزًا فِي الْغَابِرِينَ ثُمَّ دَمَّرْنَا الْآخَرِينَ وَأَمْطَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ مَطَرًا فَسَاءَ مَطَرُ الْمُنْذَرِينَ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةً وَمَا كَانَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ كَذَّبَ أَصْحَابُ الْأَيْكَةِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ شُعِيبٌ أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينٌ فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُونَ وَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرٍ إِنْ أَجْرِيَ إِلَّا عَلَى رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ أَوْفُوا الْكَيْلَ وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُخْسِرِينَ وَزِنُوا بِالْقِسْطَاسِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ وَلَا تَبْخَسُوا النَّاسَ أَشْيَاءَهُمْ وَلَا تَعْثَوْا فِي الْأَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ قال الإمام جلال الدين المحلي رحمه الله تعالى كذبت قوم لوط المرسلين إن قال لهم أخوهم لوط ألا تتقون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله وأطيعون وما أسألكم عليه من أجر إن ما أجري إلا على رب العالمين أتأتون الذكران من العالمين أي الناس وتذرون ما خلق لكم ربكم من أزواجكم أي أقبالهن بل أنتم قوم عادون متجاوزون الحلال إلى الحرام So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is now transitioning into the story of Lut alayhi salam. And as all of us have noticed by now, that the stories of all of the prophets and messengers mentioned here in Surah Al-Shu'ara are following the exact same trajectory. That a prophet is sent to a particular community, a particular nation. And this prophet invites them towards belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partners, towards the truth towards belief in life after death. And they are initially met with opposition, rejection, mockery, ridicule, and harassment. And as a result of that community's rejection of the truth and disbelief, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then destroys them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aids the Prophet and Messenger, grants them victory, gives them the strength to remain firm and strong and steadfast and persevere, until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows them to be uh, victorious and allows the truth to prevail. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كَذَّبَتْ قَوْمُ لُوطٍ الْمُرْسَلِينَ The people of Lut rejected the messengers. إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ لُوطٌ أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ When their brother, 
Lut Ali Salam said to them, Will you not fear Allah? Will you not be mindful, conscious, and aware of Allah? Inni lakum Rasulun Amin. I am truly a trustworthy messenger sent to you. Fattakullah wa ati'un. So fear Allah and obey me. Be mindful of Allah and obey me. Wama as'alukum alayhi min ajr. I don't ask you for any reward for this message. In ma ajriya illa ala rabbil alameen. My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. Ata'tuna dhukrana min al alameen. Why do you lust after fellow men? Right. Are you lusting after fellow men? Are you engaging in homosexual relations? So, أَتَأْتُونَ الذُّكْرَانَ مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ أي الناس. Why are you approaching men to fulfill your carnal desires and your pleasures? وَتَذَرُونَ مَا خَلَقَ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ Leaving the wives that your Lord has created for you. وَتَذَرُونَ مَا خَلَقَ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ Right, and leaving what your Lord has created for you in terms of wives, a eh? meaning leaving, uh, having uh, normal and uh, the natural form of relations and fulfilling one's desires. Bal antum adun. In fact, you are a transgressing people. You are a people that have exceeded all boundaries and limits. مُتَجَاوِزُونَ الْحَلَانَ إِلَى الْحَرَامِ You have crossed from what is lawful to what is unlawful. You have crossed that limit, you have crossed that boundary. قَالَ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ قَالُوا لَإِن لَمْ تَنْتَهِ يَا لُوطُ عَنْ إِنْكَارِكَ عَلَيْنَا لَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُخْرَجِينَ مِنْ بَلْدَتِنَا قَالَ لُوطٌ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ إِنِّي لِعَمَالِكُمْ مِنَ الْقَالِينَ الْمُبْغِضِينَ رَبِّ نَجِّنِي وَأَهْلِي مِمَّا يَعْمَلُونَ أَيْ مِنْ عَذَابِهِ So he invites his community towards the truth, towards belief in Allah, towards morality and chastity, and they respond with opposition, rejection, and threats. قَالُوا لَإِن لَمْ تَنْتَهِ يَا لُوطُ لَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُخْرَجِينَ They said, if you don't desist, if you don't stop, O Lut, you will surely be expelled. So قَالُوا They said, right, his people said, لَإِن لَمْ تَنْتَهِ If you don't stop, if you don't desist, يَا لُوتُ أَوْ لُوتَ عَنِ السَّلَامِ عَنِ إِنْكَارِكَ عَنِينَ If you don't stop your opposition to us, right, if you don't stop your opposition to us, لَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُخْرَجِينَ Then you will surely be expelled. You will be among those that have been driven out مِنْ بَلْدَتِنَا from our town. قَالَ إِنِّي لِعَمَلِكُمْ مِنَ الْقَالِينَ He said, I am truly one of those who despise, who hate your loathsome practice, your shameful, obscene practice. So قَالَ لُوطٌ عَلَيْهِ السلام لُوطَ عَلَيْهِ السلام said, إِنِّي لِعَمَلِكُمْ مِنَ الْقَالِينَ I am truly one of those who despise, who loathe your practice. Al-Mubighidin. I am among those who are angered and upset by your shameful behavior, by your obscene behavior. Rabbi najini wa ahni mimma ya'malun. My Lord, save me and my family from what they are doing. Amin adabihi, meaning from its punishment. That, O oh my Lord, save me and my family from the punishment of what they're doing. قَالَ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَأَهْلَهُ أَجْمَعِينَ إِلَّا عَجُوزًا إِمْرَأَتَهُ فِي الْغَابِرِينَ الْبَاقِينَ أَهْلَكْنَاهَا ثُمَّ دَمَّرْنَا الْآخَرِينَ أَهْلَكْنَاهُمْ وَأَمْطَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ مَطَرًا حِجَارَةً مِنْ جُمْلَةِ الْإِهْلَاكِ فَسَاءَ مَطَرُ الْمُنذَرِينَ مَطَرُهُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةٌ وَمَا كَانَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَأَهْلَهُ أَجْمَعِينَ So we saved him 
and all of his family except an old woman who was left behind who was one of those that were doomed so we saved him we saved Lut and his family all of them except for an old woman his wife she was left among those that stayed behind Al-Baqin Ahlaknaha We destroyed her Because she would aid in the obscene behavior And the shameful practice of her people And then we destroyed the rest Ahlaknahu We destroyed them And we poured a rain of destruction upon them Pouring upon them a rain how evil was the rain of those who had been warned. Right? And we pour down rain upon them, meaning hijaratan. The rain that's being referred to here is not actual rain. It was a rainstorm of stones. Min jumlatil ihlak, which was part of their destruction, which was part of their punishment. Right, their land was lifted up and turned upside down, and they were pelted with these, uh, this rain of stones. How evil, how dreadful, how awful was the rain of those who had been warned. Surely in that is a sign, is a lesson, a moral. Yet most of them would not believe. وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ And your Lord is certainly the Almighty, the Most Merciful. قَالَ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ كَذَّبَ أَصْحَابُ الْأَيْكَةِ وَفِي قِرَاءَةٍ بِحَذْفِ الْهَمْزَةِ وَإِلْقَاءِ حَرَكَتِهَا عَلَى اللَّامِ وَفَتْحِ الْهَاءِ هِيَ غَيْضَةُ شَجَرَةٍ قُرْبَ مَدْيَنِ المرسلين إذ قال لهم شعيب لم يقل أخوهم لأنه لم يكن منهم أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينٌ فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُونَ وَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرٍ إِنْ مَا أَجْرِيَ إِلَّا عَلَى رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ أَوْفُوا الْكَيْلَ أَتِمُّوهُ وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُخْسِرِينَ النَّاقِصِينَ وَزِنُوا بِالْقِسْطَاسِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ الْمِيزَانِ السَّوِيِّ وَلَا تَبْخَسُوا النَّاسَ أَشْيَاءَهُمْ لا تنقصوهم من حقهم شيئا ولا تعثوا في الأرض مفسدين بالقتل وغيره من عثية بكسر المثلثة أفسد ومفسدين حال مؤكدة لمعنى عاملها تعثوا واتقوا الذي خلقكم والجبلة الخليقة الأولين Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights the story of شعيب عليه السلام كَذَّبَ أَصْحَابُ الْأَيْكَةِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ The residents of the forest rejected the messengers. أَصْحَابُ الْأَيْكَةِ Ayka means a forest. وَفِي قِرَاءَةٍ Now here Imam al-Mahalli rahimahullah, he highlights that there's a different qira'ah here. There's a different way of reciting this portion of the verse. بِهَذْفِ hamza That the hamza of ayka is omitted. وَإِلْقَاءِ حَرَكَتِهَا عَلَى اللَّامِ and the haraka of the hamza is then placed on the lamb. Wa fathil ha'i, and there's a um, fatha on the ha. Right. So that's a different way of pronouncing the word al aika. And then he highlights what is an aika? Ghaydatu shajaratin. Right. It's a group of trees, like a forest, qurb madian, that was close to the city of Madian. So kathaba ashabu al aika til mursanin. The residents or the companions, the people of the forest, rejected the messengers. When Shu'ib said to them, Will you not fear Allah? Will you not be mindful, conscious, and aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then here Imam al Mahali says, In all of the previous stories, the Prophet is referred as Akhuhum, their brother. But Lam Yaqul Akhuhum. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't say their brother Shu'ib. Because he was not from them. He was not related to them. Right? They weren't part of the same clan or tribe or lineage. 
أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ Will you not fear Allah? Will you not be mindful, conscious and aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينٌ I am truly a trustworthy messenger sent to you. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُونَ So be mindful of Allah and obey me. وَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجَرٍ And I'm not asking you for any reward for this message. إِنْ مَا أَجْرِيَ إِلَّا عَلَى رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. أَوْفُوا الْكَيْلَ وَلَا تَكُولُوا مِنَ الْمُخْسِرِينَ Give full measure and cause no loss to others. أَوْفُوا الْكَيْلَ Give full measure. When you're transacting, when you're engaging in business, be honest, be ethical. Give full measure, أَتِمُّهُ Give the measure in full. وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُخْسِرِينَ and don't be among those who give less. Anaqisin. Right, don't be among those who give less and sell others short. Wazinu bil qistasil mustaqim. And weigh with an even balance. Meaning a scale that is uh, proper and properly adjusted. Weigh with an even balance. Al mizan is sawi. Right, an even balance, one that weighs properly and correctly. وَلَا تَبْخَسُوا النَّاسَ أَشْيَاءَهُمْ And do not deprive people of what is theirs. Don't defraud people of their property. وَلَا تَعْثَوْ فِي الْأَوْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ And do not spread corruption in the land. So وَلَا تَبْخَسُوا النَّاسَ أَشْيَاءَهُمْ Do not defraud people of their property. Do not deprive people of what is theirs. لَا تَنْقُصُوهُمْ مِنْ حَقِّهِمْ شَيْئًا don't take away anything from their rights. وَلَا تَعْثُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ And don't spread or don't go about on the land spreading corruption. بِالْقَتْلِ وَغَيْرِهِ By killing others and other forms of corruption as well. And he says the verb تَعْثُوا comes from the verb عَثِيَ بِكَسْرِ الْمُثَلَّثَةِ With a kasra on the thaa which means afsada to corrupt. Mufsidin, and then he says the word mufsidin here, grammatically speaking, is halun mu'akkidatun. It is a circumstantial adverb that's emphasizing the meaning of its governing agent, which is ta'athu. وَاتَّقُوا الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالْجِبِلَّةَ الْأَوَّلِينَ And fear the one who created you and all earlier generations, all earlier people or former generations. وَاتَّقُوا الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ Be mindful, be conscious, be aware, fear the one who created you. وَالْجِبِلَّةَ الْخَلِيقَةَ الْأَوَّلِينَ And the previous or former generations. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَاتَّقُوا الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالْجِبِلَّةَ الْأَوَّلِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مِنَ الْمُسَحَّرِينَ وَمَا أَنْتَ إِلَّا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُنَا وَإِنَّ ظُنُّكَ لَمِنَ الْكَاذِبِينَ فَأَسْقِطْ عَلَيْنَا كِسَفًا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ إِنْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ قَالَ رَبِّي أَعْلَمُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ فَكَذَّبُوهُ فَأَخَذَهُمْ عَذَابُ يَوْمِ الظُّلَّةِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةٌ وَمَا كَانَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ وَإِنَّهُ لَتَنْزِيلُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينُ عَلَى قَلْبِكَ لِتَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُنْذِرِينَ بِلِسَانٍ عَرَبِيٍّ مُبِينٍ وَإِنَّهُ لَفِي زُبُرِ الْأَوَّلِينَ أَوَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ آيَةً أَنْ يَعْلَمَهُ عُلَمَاءُ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلٍ أَوَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ آيَةً أَنْ يَعْلَمَهُ عُلَمَاءُ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلٍ وَلَوْ نَزَّلْنَاهُ عَلَى بَعْضِ الْأَعْجَمِينَ فَقَرَأَهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ مُؤْمِنِينَ كَذَلِكَ سَلَكْنَاهُ فِي قُلُوبِ الْمُجْرِمِينَ 
لا يؤمنون به حتى يروا العذاب الأليم فيأتيهم بغتة وهم لا يشعرون فيقولوا هل نحن منظرون أفبعذابنا يستعجلون أفرأيت إن متعناهم سنين ثم جاءهم ما كانوا يوعدون قال رحمه الله قالوا إنما أنت من المسحرين وما أنت إلا بشر مثلنا وإن مخففة من الثقيلة واسمها محذوف أي إنه نظنك لمن الكاذبين فأسقط علينا كسفا بسكون السين وفتحها قطعة من السماء إن كنت من الصادقين في رسالتك قال ربي أعلم بما تعملون فيجازيكم به فكذبوه فأخذهم عذاب يوم الظلة هي سحابة أظلتهم بعد حر شديد أصابهم فأمطرت عليهم نارا فاحترقوا إنه كان عذاب يوم عظيم إن في ذلك لآية وما كان أكثرهم مؤمنين وإن ربك لهو العزيز الرحيم So here um, again we have شعيب عليه السلام inviting his people towards belief in Allah, towards the truth, towards morality and ethics, and they respond with opposition, rejection, mockery, ridicule, harassment. قَالُوا إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مِنَ الْمُسَحْحَرِينَ They said, you are bewitched. قَالُوا His people responded, إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مِنَ الْمُسَحْحَرِينَ You are among those who have been bewitched. وَمَا أَنْتَ إِلَّا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُنَا Also, you are only a human being like us. You are nothing but a man like us. وَإِنَّ ظُنُّكَ لَمِنَ الْكَاذِمِينَ And we think you're a liar. وَمَا أَنْتَ إِلَّا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُنَا And you are nothing but a man just like us. وَإِنْ مُخَفَّفَةٌ مِنَ الثَّقِيلَةِ يعني It has been made light from being heavy, meaning there's a sukun instead of a shadda. And the ism of it is omitted, اَيْ إِنَّهُ نَظُنُّكَ We believe لَمِنَ الْكَاذِبِينَ we believe that you're a liar. فَأَسْقِطْ عَلَيْنَا كِسَفًا مِنَ السَّمَا إِنْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ So cause pieces of the sky to fall upon us if you are among the truthful. فَأَسْقِطْ عَلَيْنَا كِسْفًا He says the word kisfan can be بِسُكُونِ السِّينَ It can be recited with the sukun on the scene وَفَتْحِهَا And with the fatha which is the qira'a we're more familiar with. Kisfan or kisafan, which means qita'atan, pieces. So cause pieces of the sky to fall down upon us as punishment. In kunta mina sadiqin, if you are among the truthful, fi risalatika, in your mission. Qala rabbi a'lamu bima ta'amanun. He said, My Lord knows best whatever you do. Qala rabbi a'lamu bima ta'amanun. Right? Shu'ayb said, My Lord knows best what you're doing, فَيُجَازِيكُمْ بِي And he will repay you for it. He will recompense you for it. فَكَذَّبُوهُ فَأَخَذَهُمْ عَذَابُ يَوْمِ الظُّلَّةِ So they rejected him and were overtaken by the punishment of the day of the cloud or the shadow. إِنَّهُ كَانَ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ And that was a punishment of a great day. So, فَكَذَّبُوهُ They rejected him, they denied him, they belied him, they called him a liar, they disbelieved in him. فَأَخَذَهُمْ عَذَابُ يَوْمِ الظُّلَّةِ The punishment of the day of the shadow took them, seized them. هِيَ سَحَابَةٌ He says, the ظُلَّة is referring to a cloud. أَظَلَّتْهُمْ بَعْدَ حَرٍ شَدِيدٍ أَصَابَهُمْ It covered them. It provided them shade after severe heat that had afflicted them. فَأَمْطَرَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ نَارًا But it rained down upon them fire. فَاحْتَرَقُوا So they all burned. إِنَّهُ كَانَ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ It was indeed punishment of a tremendous day or a terrible day. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةً Surely in that is a sign, a lesson, a reminder, a moral. وَمَا كَانَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Most of them will not believe. 
وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ And your Lord is certainly the Almighty, the Most Merciful. So unfortunately, I have to end early today. Um, I apologize, but we will stop here for today. Alhamdulillah, we have reached till the end of verse number 191. So in our next lesson, we will start with verse number 192. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this small effort of ours. May He place it on our scale of good deeds on the Day of Judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a means of really increasing our understanding of the Qur'an and make it a means of allowing us to build a stronger relationship with the Qur'an. May the Qur'an be a proof for us, not against us. وَصَلِّ اللَّهُمَّ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا وَمَوْلَانَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلِّمْ جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ